If you haven't watched the first part of this series, you should definitely check it out after this video. We left off with the doctors telling us that we ain't leaving a hospital until we have a baby. Whew. After they said that, Glory immediately asked, do they have to put the balloon in me? <laughs> I was terrified. Of, of, think of it, a balloon going in your blue hall. So they told her, no, you are dilated to the point where you don't have to do it. And at this point, it was smooth sailing. And my contractions still were not hurting. This was probably like over two hours later. But Matt was the one that kept saying, you still might want to get that epidural. Listen, <laughs> I remember the state that she was at with the first pregnancy and she turned into the Incredible Hulk. She was the Incredible Rice. Hey, when you have your second baby, the first pregnancy and the second one, you're trying to recollect all of those <laughs> things. Wait, when did she start getting in pain? When did she turn into a different person? All of those things were running through my head and I just wanted her to be as comfortable as possible. I know, I just felt weird that I wasn't feeling pain. So like, not I knew I was gonna get an epidural, but I was like, maybe I can wait a little bit longer. So because Glory had an induction date and they said that we were gonna have the baby that night, they gave Glory some medicine that kind of sped up her dilation. It's called Pitocin. Potosi. That's a dope name. There you go with these baby <laughs> names. Potosi. So they gave Glory this, and we're sitting here trying to figure it out. They're like, yeah, we're going to manually break your labor. Um, break, <laughs> break your labor. We're going to manually break your water and all of those things after you dilated for some time. So during this time, me and Glory, we huddled up. We're trying to figure out if you're getting the epidural or not. And the thing about Glory is the whole pregnancy even up to that moment she's like do i want it naturally do no, i want to feel no. all of this i did not want to have it natural i know i knew i didn't want it well kind of see no but like only if it was like out of my control but like i knew at that point i was gonna do it i just didn't know when because it wasn't hurting they did tell me that some people get their epidural even when they're like a centimeter dilated and at that point i was like three or four right yeah but you were sitting there seeing how long you can test it out you're like <laughs> Uh, yeah, I could definitely feel it, but it doesn't hurt like the first one. <laughs> have you guys that have gone through it done that before? Like, tested the waters a little bit? Like, see, like, maybe it should hurt a little bit more. I'm over there on the couch like, you sure you don't want to get me? I mean, I'm with you the whole time. <laughs> so finally, Glory decides, you know what? They're going to be breaking my water soon. Let me get this epidural. Yes, because I remember they broke my water first before they gave me the epidural last time. That hurt. That hurts. That did. Yeah. That, you know? I mean, it hurt me because you, <laughs> you were holding my hand. Your hand hurt? The whole entire time. So we're in the room. Glory tells them, bring in the epidural. So Glory sits up on a bed. You know, when you're in there, they're like, hey, come over here, dad. Because they don't really know your name, even though my name was <laughs> on the board. They just kept calling me dad. The nurse was like, hey, dad, um, why don't you uh, just bring this chair over here and set it up like right next to Glory's bed? And I was like, dang. She want me to move the chair so she could sit in there? That's very weird. So I'm standing next to the chair, just like looking at Glory, and I'm looking at this long needle. Did you see it? Like I didn't see the whole thing, but I- I, I refuse was, to look. I just refuse to look. It was long enough to know, like, dang, that's a long needle. <laughs> So I'm standing next to the chair and the nurse was like, hey, have a seat, dad, have a seat. And I'm like, nah, I'm cool. She's like, have a seat. <laughs> she did. Sit. What the heck? Why do I need to have a seat? I've been sitting all day, but fine. Maybe you just don't want me in your way. That's what I thought for some reason in case Glory, she'd get that epidural. She'd get up like, help, don't save me. And I got to hold it down. So I'm sitting down. And I'm watching, they talking to Glory, like, all right, you're gonna feel a little pinch, it's gonna hurt. All yeah, right. I was nervous because last time when I got my epidural, I was already in pain, but this time I was really nervous. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not in pain. I'm able to like fully focus on this epidural shot right now. So I was really nervous. So while the process was happening, while Glory was getting this epidural shot, the woman, she like opens up this whole thing on top of the cart with everything for the epidural. And it was at this point I realized Oh, this is why they want me to sit down. <laughs> Everything in my body got weak. Even though really? I'm not the person getting it, my legs felt like it lost all of the muscles in oh it. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh snap. I don't even feel like I have legs right now. <laughs> Glory's just sitting there tough, just looking down like, just, <laughs> just do it, just give me the shot. I can't even look at Glory in the face because the thought 
of this long needle just going straight into our spine was making me weak and I was getting smaller and smaller <laughs> as it happened. And, and the woman, she's being very explicit about what she's doing. Okay, we're gonna put this needle right in between the vertebrae <laughs> in your spine. You're gonna one, two, three, and then I see Gloria go. Mm. No, I, I was good. You I was were. a champ. You, you did take it like a champ. I thought you was gonna go, ah, ah, <laughs> but she didn't. But just that subtle movement that Glory did when she was like, mm. <laughs> and I was holding a pillow. Like, and she was holding a pillow. It. I felt like I got the shot. I did it with her. <laughs> when she got stuck, I felt like I got stuck. And Glory was like. That wasn't that bad, that actually felt good. And I'm like, what kind of person is this woman? And the nurse was like, all right, dad, you can stand up now. And I looked at her, I was like, how many guys passed out while their wife's getting up? Uh, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, oh yeah, I've had to pick a couple guys up off the floor and stuff. That's why I sat you down. I'm like, I appreciate you, thank you. Anyway, so we waited about like 45 minutes to an hour and I wasn't supposed to feel anything. And I felt like a lot of numbness in my legs and I was like, okay, it must be working. And this is when they put the catheter in. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna feel it. But like the idea of a catheter was like, it's like worse than birth for me. Like, I don't know, I just, I just, eh. She was like, all right, I'm gonna put the catheter in. I fully felt it. Why are you looking at me like <laughs> I was the one to put it in? I fully felt it. Dang, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't believe, I was like, wait, I felt that. She's like, huh, that's weird. I mean, you really shouldn't have felt that. And I was like, maybe it's cause like, not enough time has passed. I was like, by the time I give birth, I definitely won't feel that. At this time, the main doctor who's delivering the baby comes in. He was a very awesome doctor, made us feel very comfortable and everything. Yes. And he basically gave us the lowdown, like, all right, I'm gonna be back in like 15 minutes, I'm gonna come in, we're gonna break your water, and then we're just gonna push this baby out. And in my head, I'm like, all right, so the first birth, they broke the water and the baby ain't come until like a couple hours later. Yeah. We just got in the room, so I'm thinking, oh, we got time to like, like take- Like a few hours, yeah. Yeah, we got time to take a nap. I'm over there setting up my charge station. I forgot to even mention the fact that right before they did all of this, Lori made me walk all the way to the parking garage to bring all these gift yeah. baskets that she made for the doctor along with the big suitcase. So I'm rushing trying to <laughs> do that because everyone keeps telling me, yeah, the second baby, they just they just slide on out like a water slide. <laughs> and I, did, I did not want to miss the birth at all. So I'm running down the halls and I finally get it and I realize how much stuff Glory actually packed for all the nurses. Listen, I recommend if you are pregnant right now and you've never made a thank you basket for nurses, the labor and delivery nurses, I recommend you do that. And my reason is because it puts them in a better mood. They were pretty happy. <laughs> we had nurses stopping in our room that didn't even know who they were. They, if they felt, it was like they kind of felt bad, but it was like, I mean, I, I heard y'all got snacks in this room. And it was like, yeah, yeah, they right there. And then it was like they felt guilty, like they had to kind of like linger on and like kind of talk to us. And was like, yeah, so, uh, is this your second baby? I'm like, yeah, just, just go ahead and take the pop. Oh off. my gosh. <laughs> Wait, did you? No, I felt my boobs were ringing during, while we were filming. What, what do you mean ringing? They were what's, ringing. What sound does boobs? I Wait, what sound does booze make? You didn't turn your faucets off before we started the video. <laughs> got milk. <laughs> so the nurses came in, they got the baskets. Said, oh, thank you so much. We haven't eaten anything all day. And then the night crew came and was like, I heard you got snacks. <laughs> and then they took the second basket. We like, all right, this is this is cool. Yeah, it's, it's a, honestly a huge thank you, not just for the better moods, because they do so much. So the doctor finally comes back in. Man's like putting his gloves <laughs> on and stuff. You know, it makes that <laughs> sound and everything. Baby's about to come out. We gonna do this thing. How you feeling, Glory? Like, hey. well, I, I said, I told them I felt pressure. I, I didn't know if I was supposed to feel anything, because again, I had an epidural, but I felt so much pressure. And then when they checked me. They're like. Oh, Oh, it's because you're fully dilated. I see the head. And I was like, ah! My heart started. They're so bad. So the doctor's giving us, you know, the same spiel. It was like, it's gonna be a lot of pressure. You might poop. Don't feel bad about it. I'm on the other side. I'm like, yo, this ain't fair because the doctor got a face shield and the nurse got a face <laughs> shield. I don't have a face shield. And I'm down there and I got a whole glory foot up. So I'm sitting here like, Y'all ain't gonna give your boy a face shield? Like, she's just gonna poop on me? Man, you seen my poop before. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
on accident. <laughs> but nobody wants to get pooped on. But at this point, I'm like, I gotta toughen it out. I gotta make sure I'm motivating Glory and everything. We begin, and Glory starts to push, and it sounded like a cross between a dinosaur and a bird. I, I, every animal you can think of in a dinosaur. Because I felt pain. I got an epidural and I still felt pain. You know, the first one, they're like, all right, Glory, it's time to push. Glory's like, <sighs> well, that's the first one. Yeah, I didn't really do anything that first one. Yeah, that first one. So the second one, the doctor's like, oh my gosh, you did a really amazing job. Do one another ones, but push a little stronger. So Glory goes, <laughs> and this time I kind of see the baby a little bit. And I'm like, oh snap, he got a little bit more hair than Jerry had coming yeah, out there. Yeah, I know. And they, they said that too. So they were like, do you want to see? I always request the mirror. I wanted to see. You know, I realized that they asked the mom if they want to see because it just, I feel like, does it motivate you when you see that hair? Yeah, kind of. So finally, once they show Glory the mirror of herself pushing, then she just, she evolved. Like, she just straight went super sad. The more I was pushing, it hurt. Like, I felt the pain. Like, I don't know. I know the epidural had to work somewhat because the contractions weren't hurting, but once I started pushing, it really hurt. I forgot the, the dookie face that you made while you were pushing. But well, you know what? Dookie face? I would say, just like the first time, the second time watching your strength of pushing oh. our son out, it's like a, a proud moment hits Aww. you. Like, yo, look at my wife, man. Look at all that strength. Aww. Even though your face was like. <laughs> but the amount of, I don't even know if it's a word, proudness I felt at that moment while you were pushing. And then I was thinking like, wow, you did such an amazing job carrying our Stop. son for, for, oh nine, for nine months. You did it twice. Aww. And it kind of felt like a finish line. And then finally, she did one push, and it was so weird. I didn't see the baby. She did one push, and then the head just kind of popped up, like. <laughs> and I was like, oh! <laughs> you know, babies look like aliens when they first come out. It was my first time, like, actually looking at our child, and I was just, I was in awe. That's so amazing you get to see him first. And that, that ring of fire is real. Once they do that first quad, that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that whole experience was just freaking awesome. Yeah, it, I mean, even though I've been through it before, it's just just as amazing. Like, I was crying so much. Just You just like can't believe it. Like, when there's a baby, especially if it's your first time. But even the second time, you just can't believe it that there's a baby that you just gave birth to. And then they, I set him on my chest. It was just so sweet. I will say the difference between Psalm and Jerry, Psalm and Jerry, <laughs> when it was time for breastfeeding, Jerry, the first one, he he just would not open his mouth up. Yeah, like, it was hard. For whatever. But Psalm, as soon as he came out and it was time to breastfeed, my man was like, <laughs> dang, this boy came out hungry. Now it's finally time to leave. We've been there for two days. We missed Jerry, we even FaceTime. Oh, that was hard. We really missed him. I know. It, it was too long. It was actually the comfort. longest we've ever been away from him. Glory's parents were here watching Jerry while we were gone. But right before we left, we told him, hey, we want Jerry to meet his brother first, like share this moment. They were very cool. So as soon as we pulled up to the house, they took the dog and they went upstairs and they let Jerry chill downstairs. And we brought Psalm in and at first, Jerry he was, was very hesitant. He was very hesitant, just with us in general, because we've been gone for two days. I know. So it was <laughs> like he was mad, like, so y'all just gonna leave me in the house and just bring somebody else up in here? Like, we, this is what y'all was doing? Once everyone kind of calmed down and everything, we were like, all right, Jerry, like, you wanna hold your brother? So we sat Jerry down. Jerry, at this point, he's looking so calm. Like, oh. And Jerry's looking at his brother, and he's just staring. The moment we put, Saw him on Jerry's lap. We're still holding him. Yeah. By we, the way. Oh yeah, yeah. We were holding him the whole time. We're not gonna let Jerry hold the baby. We put saw him on Jerry's lap, and it was just a beautiful moment there. And then Jerry goes, <laughs> and over there, oh, right out the gate. And then Jerry gets up and goes to his toy box and just starts playing his toys like he just did not care at that point. And we were so confused. 
and it was like that for a good. It was like that for like yeah. almost a week. Yeah, a little I was less say. than a week. It was like a little week. No jealousy, no care. Could have been there, could have not been there. He <laughs> yeah. wouldn't have mattered. It was like he understood. All right, y'all just had a baby. Y'all don't worry about me. I got my toys, my cars over here. Y'all worry about my brother. You know, we'll play. We'll we'll have fun when we need to. Now. Every, he, wants some yeah, he won't stop giving some hugs. He has to hold his hand. We chilling everywhere. If we put some down somewhere, yeah. Jerry goes running over to him and yeah. he has to like hug him. And because he loves cats so much, he thinks you hug people with your head. So <laughs> and Jerry, just like his mom got, you know, that head, the circumference, that thing is big. You know what I'm saying? So Jerry, when he goes over, he's like, I'm like, Jerry, you can't hug people with your head. So it just feels good. I know a lot of people talk about babies being jealous. You know, I, I feel blessed. Jerry's yeah, not giving those really, vibes. Yeah, I mean, we do a really good job too of just like including Jerry, so I don't know if that's the reason, but. And we still have a long time with Jerry. We make sure to like still like play games, take yeah. him outside, you know, do those things. And this whole entire pregnancy, it's been pretty manageable. Yeah, like what, it has, it's been about a month now. Yeah. We're filming this a month later, but it's been good. I mean, I know it can get harder as they get older, but right now, honestly, it's been really good. And the scary thing is it's so smooth, it's like, Glory made the comment earlier, like, dang, we might be able to get a third baby after all pretty soon. I said, what? Yeah, I was just saying, put it in the air. No. Not anytime soon, soon. Y'all gonna stop making them comments like, hey, you got six more to go. I know, no, everyone don't. says that. No, we're not having a bunch of kids. We joke about it just because that's what happened in the Korean yeah. wedding, but. I don't know. I'm happy <laughs> with stopping at three. We gonna have twins next. Watch. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> we pop out six babies the next go. <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely gonna take a, a nice break. Enjoy the time we have with our little homies. Mm -hmm. It's been awesome. Can't wait to take them to like different places for yeah, them to experience I know. stuff. I know. And you know, creating has been fun again. I just think that God just really wanted us to just spend take time, yeah. take a break. And now, we just having fun. Yeah, yeah. So this was the labor and delivery story. Again, if you made it to this end and you haven't watched the first part, you should definitely click this one because it's hilarious. And thank y'all for all the prayers. We love y'all and we'll see y'all in the next video. I got the slice. I got the rice. Ha 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 ha. Whoosh.